Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Caroline Woods, here to take you through today's market action. The post-election rally took a breather on Tuesday, with stocks closing down across the board. The Russell was the worst performer, falling 1.8 percent. The Dow shed just under 1 percent, whereas the S&P and Nasdaq each lost about a quarter of a percent. As for sector movers, materials posted the steepest losses, falling 1.6 percent. Healthcare and real estate cut 1.3 percent. Communications and technology closed up a half a percent. Consumer staples finished just above the flat line. Turning to stocks on the move, Spotify is adding to impressive year-to-date gains after hours after posting better-than-expected earnings. Revenue rose 19 percent year-over-year. Monthly active users grew 11 percent to 640 million. Subscribers grew by 12 percent to 252 million. CEO Daniel X said the company has never been in a stronger position. Shopify soared 21 percent on its strongest trading day ever after reporting record revenue of $2.16 billion. The e-commerce platform operator expects fourth quarter revenue growth at a mid to high 20s percentage rate compared to last year. The company's CEO called the third quarter outstanding, adding our unified commerce platform is becoming the go to choice for merchants of all sizes. And Honeywell reached a new all-time high after Elliott Management took a $5 billion stake in the company. The activist investor seeks to split the conglomerate into two. A letter from Elliott says the time has come to embrace simplification. Elliott blames uneven execution, inconsistent financial results, and underperforming share price for diminishing its record of value creation. Tomorrow morning, we'll get a clearer picture on inflation with the October CPI print due out. After the closing bell, Cisco and New Holdings will report earnings. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Caroline Woods. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.